About a month ago I downloaded a software package called OpenFoam. OpenFoam is a set of programs that's used to solve systems of complex equations and one of the things that this software can do is solve for the flow of fluids like air over different surfaces. I've been experimenting to see if OpenFoam can be used to test wind turbines and I made this video just to show you what I've accomplished. This is a picture of a Lens 2 turbine. It's a uh, turbine that's fairly popular and it's my test subject. You can learn about the Lens 2 turbine at www.windstuffnow.com. This is my computer model of that turbine. It has a height of 3 feet and a diameter of 3 feet. I put the model inside a circular mesh that rotates to simulate the motion of the turbine turning. Then I put that uh, circular mesh inside a square mesh that stays stationary. Now I'd like to show you some of the various types of output you can get from the program. This plot shows where the air is moving and how fast. Red is fast moving air, blue is slow moving air, and the lines show the path that it takes. This is a similar plot, except that now the color represents air pressure. Red is high pressure, blue is low pressure. In this one I'm also showing pressure, but this time I've sliced the windmill vertically. In this one, the red bubble represents where the air pressure is 15 pascals higher than normal, and the blue bubble represents where it's 15 pascals lower than average. These images look a lot better on a high resolution computer screen. In fact, in the YouTube format, you can barely see some of the stuff in them. I'm no expert in computation of fluid dynamics, or CFD as some people call it. In fact, I basically started learning about this stuff about a month ago. And there's probably many ways you can mess up the simulation, and I probably did. So I'm not really trusting any numbers that come out of the simulation just yet. What I'm doing is playing with the simulation and comparing with reality to see if I can find some way to predict how a windmill will behave. In any case, I thought some of this output was cool and I wanted to show it off. Thanks for watching.